I'm Troy Hickox from Galaxy Entertainment Group and I'm a judge in this year's Ahead Asia Awards. We're at the Andes Singapore celebrating the best in Asian hospitality design. This is the third year of Ahead Asia Awards and uh, it was really interesting to see design born out of real heritage from Asia. And in particular, we had a couple of projects from China which were really deeply rooted in their local heritage but also translating that into modern architecture and design. It's interesting for China because when I went into China to do design 15 years ago, developers were not interested in doing anything Chinese. They just want international. But it's interesting now it kind of reversed. They are demanding more Chinese-ness in their design, but not so much in terms of the tangible aspect. It should be interpreted in a more subtle manner. They are beginning to appreciate their culture and understand their culture and be proud of their culture. So one of the big winners on the night was Haman Yangyun in Shanghai, designed by Kerry Hill. That was a fascinating project, and it began with the very passionate owner transplanting 10,000 trees from another province where they were going to be wiped out by, uh, by the creation of an enormous dam and a number of ancient buildings which they transported all to this new location in Shanghai to build a resort with. And it's a great story of preserving ancient crafts and heritage buildings that are part of the culture that would otherwise have been lost. The Qingpu Retreat in Yangshou, designed by Nirian Hu and landscaped by Nirian Hu, is another one where they've incorporated very contemporary design into a very natural environment with minimum impact. When I was talking to Lyndon Neri of Neri and Who, he was describing how he took the ancient footprints of village housing, that was the only remains on the site, and how he had to build on top of that and raise a modern architectural structure. That's an incredibly conceptual interpretation of local heritage into modern design. The internal spatial arrangement, it follows that of a Chinese courtyard house. You have the interface between the outside and the inside and you have what we call the in-between spaces like the courtyard. So as you move from the main space, you always have in a way glimpse or views of the internal courtyards and it kind of marks the spaces as you progress. A new category that was introduced to Ahead Awards this year was the transportation category. We had two boats and a private jet that was shortlisted. I thought the two boats were really interesting, in particular the one called Guntu, which is based out of Onomichi, just outside of Hiroshima. Guntu is a floating hotel with modern guest rooms and F&B space to support the guests on the boat. It's a waterborne reinvention of traditional Japanese ryokan. One of the ones we did talk about a lot was the Wild Coast Tented Lodge in Sri Lanka. It's not just about building interesting architecture anymore, it's now about trying to do it with minimum impact to the environment that it's in. They'd left no footprint or damaged almost none of the environment in putting those tents into the location it's in. The paradox of hotel design today, I think, is this balance you must strike between expressing something of the local area, but at the same time adhering to the global standard of luxury. The sophisticated travelers and customers are saying, I want the local experience, I want that provenance. But at the same time, they do appreciate changing fashions in design. So I think that paradox and having to strike that delicate balance, I think is something that's very interesting in hotel design today. 